Hey there, welcome to Unblazing Trails. My name is Eva. This is a very cool, random channel for women over 50. But I always say women of any age can come and hang out. Today we're going to talk about my quit smoking journey because this month, actually on December 25th, it will be one full year that I've actually been smoke free and I'm pretty excited about it. So I want to share what my journey has been like, um, the struggles that I've, that I've uh, kind of went through, I had to deal with in my journey um, and all that stuff. So if this sounds like something that you would be interested in, or maybe you know somebody who maybe needs to quit smoking or maybe somebody that you know in your life wants to quit smoking or whatever this video is for you please stick around and listen as i share my story of my, my quit smoking journey don't forget to please subscribe like share comment all that good stuff uh it shows youtube that you kind of like me and sharing is caring like if you if you watch any of my videos and any of them um, you know, really resonate with you or or remind you of somebody like, please hit the share button on anything because nobody knows what's out there unless somebody shares it with them, right? So uh, anyway, okay, so this will probably be the last video I do uh, before Christmas and maybe even into the new year. I am starting a new channel with my friend Dave. I'm going to drop the link to that uh somewhere uh, in one of those corners i don't know which corner because youtube is crazy one of these corners i'm going to drop a link to the fasting does a body good um youtube channel uh we actually haven't we're doing our first video today on that i'm super excited about it uh, moving into the new year Focus is my key word for the new year, so uh, I'm just really excited moving into the new year about health and, and all kind of my business, everything. So, sorry I digress. Let's get on with the uh, quit smoking journey. So, on December 25th of 2020, I decided I was going to give myself the gift of life and I quit smoking. Now, I've quit smoking many times before. Once I succeeded for like, it was almost three years I was smoke free and that was through hypnosis and I felt really good with that quit. And then I just, stress came into my life and I started smoking. It was kind of ridiculous. So this year I, um, it was last year, December, Christmas of 2020. I just thought, you know what? Like I'm going to be 60 pretty soon and I can't keep smoking. Like I don't want to smoke till I die. Like I just didn't want to do that. That didn't interest me. And I've been thinking about quitting for the longest time. And I've probably tried quitting a million times in the last five years. You know, I would last six weeks, maybe I'd last, you know, three months, sometimes four months, but I just didn't have any faith in any of the quits. But this time I thought, no, you know what, we're going to stick to it. And we're just going to just stay focused. So I am almost one year into the uh, December 25th, will be a year. So I'm like six days, six days away from one year of quitting smoking. Uh, and I'm going to be completely honest, I still struggle almost every single day with cravings. I do have to admit that's probably my own fault because... As much as, though I have given up cigarette smoking, I haven't smoked a single, not one single solitary cigarette in almost a year, not one. But with that said, I am still chewing nicotine gum. So I still have that nicotine addiction going. And I know that I need to curb that. Like I know I need to stop that. Uh, I was actually talking to somebody or somebody made a comment or something and they had quit or their, their sister had quit like 35 years ago or something but she was still chewing nicotine gum like it was like however many years later or i don't know but she was still chewing nicotine gum um i'm just not sure that i want to chew nicotine gum till the day i die like i know that i have to wean myself off of nicotine gum that's a struggle for me but that's for me it's the luster of the two evils and i'm not smoking and i'm not buying cigarettes and i'm not you know um i've gotten rid of that really horrible evil thing 
Yes, I'm still chewing nicotine gum. Yes, I still have nicotine cravings, which is probably because I'm still chewing nicotine gum. I get that. I'm not stupid. I know that. But at least I'm not smoking cigarettes. So it is a daily struggle. Um, I definitely will try at some point to wean myself off um, the nicotine gum. I have what I've started doing with that though, because I do like because I do chew it every day. Is now I'll try to push my time back as far as I can, like for the first piece of gum that I chew daily. Like I won't like the mornings I don't chew gum, so it's probably like I try to get it to like the afternoon, um, or late afternoon or early evening when I actually really might need like my first fix of nicotine or satisfy that nicotine demon and have a piece of gum. So I'm trying to push back the time that I have my first piece. Um, and that seems to be working out okay. So as far as health benefits go, like my skin is amazing. My, I don't stink. I feel good. My, um, my uh, breathing and all that seems to be back to like it's doing it's doing really well meaning like I'm not winded walking anymore like there was after I had quit smoking probably like in six months I think or seven months I was still feeling a little winded when I was walking and doing any kind of um exert exertive exertive exercising um, but I feel now that you know, like walking is okay. I'm not out of breath anymore. So I'm almost a year. So yay, finally, I feel like my lung capacity uh, is back to, it's at a good level. Um, my voice is, my voice is, you know, it's nice and clear. I like that. Uh, I don't have that sore throat raspiness anymore. That's gone. Uh, my teeth are still nice and clean, but I do make my own mouthwash. I'll drop a link to that so you can check out my mouthwash video. I make my own mouthwash, so it's probably why my teeth are still clean. I don't know. Um, so, you know, I'm not going to lie and say it's been easy because it hasn't been easy. It's been really hard. Every day, I, every day I struggle. I know that's my own fault, but every day I am struggling. But every day I'm super proud of myself for not smoking. And every day, you know, I'm like, thank you, God, for another smoke-free day. Uh, here I go. And I don't, you know, it's easy for me to say, oh, I'll never smoke again. But if you're a if you're a smoker who quits smoking or anything, you know how easy it is to just pick up a cigarette. Like it's so easy. And you can pick up a smoke, take one drag, and then you're then you're back on that like you get hooked like that. Like it's that easy. So I won't I can't confidently say I'll never smoke again. I would like to be able to. I feel like I will never smoke again, but it's a, you know, it's just a, it's a very, it's like very thin ice because you just don't know because it just takes one fucking trigger to set you off and then you're like, ah, I just, just give me a cigarette. So, you know, the nicotine addiction is a tough one, man. They're, like, it's a hard addiction. Um, but other than that, uh, I just wanted to check in and just let you know that I feel I'm almost at a year. I'm feeling amazing. Um, I feel like a million dollars. I don't think I'm ever going to smoke again. And I think I just wanted to share that with you. So uh, if you guys are uh, thinking about quitting smoking, and I feel like even especially like people who are like 60 or like maybe almost 70 or maybe even almost 80 that you might think, oh, you know, I'm already this old. What's the point? Well, I'm going to be 60 next year. So it's not too late. Like it's never too late to quit smoking and take care of your health. Like it's never too late. You will see the benefits of, of, take, of making a, a healthy lifestyle shift. You're going to see the benefits of that no matter when you start or no matter when you do it, you're going to see the benefits. So if you've been thinking of quitting smoking and you think you're too old, you're not too old. And I encourage you to please, you know, set a date and at least just start trying, start trying to quit smoking, set a date and go and, and prepare yourself, gear up for that day. Right. So mine was Christmas Day. I Christmas Day, I gave myself the gift of life. 
Um, and every year, that's just a gift that's just going to keep on giving because I'm always going to be, you know, hopefully smoke free another Christmas and another Christmas. So set a date on your calendar and then get yourself ready for it. Read um, non-smoking material. Uh, you can get the Alan Carr's, uh, Alan Carr's Easy Way to Quit Smoking is a, actually a really, really good book. You might want to get, I'll drop the link down to that down below. It'll be an affiliate link, but I'll drop a link to that. Um, I'm using nicotine gum, which really, really helps me. So uh, you might want to check, try some nicotine gum. I'll drop a link down to that too below. But if you're thinking about quitting, that's a good start. So now the next step is to actually set a date and quit. And don't think that you're not going to see any health benefits because you're too old, because you're not too old, and you will see health benefits. So that's all I got for you guys. I just wanted to share my quit smoking journey because I am almost a year. I'm pretty effing proud of myself. I feel like a million dollars. Um, and you know, and you also have more, you know, let's not to not forget to mention all the self-confidence you have because you don't stink your breath doesn't stink my hair doesn't stink you know people aren't gonna go oh my god you you know you don't have that like I don't stink I mean maybe my armpits stink sometimes but like I don't stink like smoke anymore and that to me that's pretty awesome and that boosts your self-confidence so if you're thinking about it I'm 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 here behind you, you know, rooting for you. And, uh, you yeah, know, reach out if you're having, reach out anytime. I'll drop my email address down below in the description box or reach out if you need help quitting smoking or anything like that. Um, that's all I got. So I love you guys. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, and I will see you back here probably just a little bit before the New Year. We'll see. I love you guys. Bye for now.